Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are the X1 Bros. Oh, my mic is so far away. Hello, David. How's it going? <laughs> I think that intro ended a little prematurely. I know. You pressed that button really fast. But that's okay. Look at you. My water's almost gone already. I must have been really thirsty. You're a thirsty man. <laughs> I am. Yes. I love to drink water. This is podcast number 93. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. As always, I'm joined by the bros, the X1 bros. First and foremost, sorry, his cat thought your Zen garden was a litter box. It's Mr. McSpicy, Mark Haywood. Okay. Yeah. I, I, that's <laughs> you have to think about that one. I, well, I always have to think about it. Sometimes you like throw these curveballs at me, and they're like rude to me, and I had to make sure that one wasn't rude, and I think it's okay. <laughs> it, it passes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next, we hired a private investigator to find out what he does all day. It's Jordan the Man, Jordan Paskett. Hello. What do you do all day? <laughs> Work. Work. Why work? Do you work all day? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Good for you. One thing. Give me one thing that happened to you that was fantastic this week. I actually watched two episodes of uh, How to Make a Murderer today at work. Oh. And they're 40 minutes. How is episodes. that? That's, uh, that's... At work? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's so <laughs> apparently so... Apparently you're not working all day. Well, no. So <laughs> <laughs> what, we, what we have to do is like there's – I was in the back by myself. Ooh. And <laughs> hopefully no one's listening to this. But anyway, so I was just watching them. <laughs> like, I was doing work while they were playing. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And then, of course, when someone came in, I... You know, you press the Excel spreadsheet on your phone. <laughs> <to> <laughs> the quick action. <laughs> Alt-tab real quick. And... <laughs> oh, very, that's yeah. very nice. Last but not least, I bet the worst part about being a birthday cake is when you're set on fire and then eaten by the hero that saved you. I am X1. We are the X1 bros. Patreon, everyone. <laughs> Patreon is in the news this week. If you don't know what Patreon is, it is a way to support the creators that you love, i.e. us. <laughs> 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 no, in all seriousness, though, uh, what is it's kind of like a Kickstarter, except for it's a, uh, it's a monthly pledge. So you say, I pledge $1 to the X1 Bros every month to help support them in what they're doing. Uh, and we would really appreciate it. So head over to uh, x1bros.com forward slash support. Just click on that support tab on our website, any of our videos. It'll take you right over there, and you can understand more about it. Um, a lot of videos are going up on YouTube, actually. A lot of videos on YouTube. In fact, uh, a we're, new we're, series called Community Play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Community Play? They actually – so occasionally, if you have not gone to our website – the forums on our website. Uh, you should. It's x1bros.com slash forums. Um, a lot of times uh, the members there just want to play games with other members, and so we call it a community play. And um, sometimes one of the bros occasionally show up, like me, for example. I'll show up, and we'll play with them. It's super fun. It's a way to meet new people that uh, just want to game and have a good time. I have secretly been recording these. <laughs> no one, well, no one knows, and uh, I'm starting to put them on YouTube now. Yes. So. so if you're wondering, you're like, I don't know if I can play with this community. You know, I don't know. It might be awkward. Just go watch a community play, and you'll see. It's a good time. It's a really good time. It's I, a... I think there's a parental warning <laughs> oh, before each of the videos. I put. I started putting. So I did the first four from Halo, and uh -huh. um, <clears throat> whenever. Uh, toast or shebrew get involved there's a lot of language so <laughs> being a family show i thought you know we can still do that kind of stuff just give a little expletive warning so i after those videos i'm starting to put up you know just a little <laughs> watch with headphones if you got kids or whatever but anyway super fun so i've been secretly recording those so yes uh this is the last week in this office in this uh in this man cave, this production mm. studio, if you will. <laughs> I, in fact, this is my last night in this home. Oh, mm. sad. Is mm. it? A, is it sad. a good sad or a bad sad? It's a happy sad. It's a happy sad. It's a. I'm never gonna see this hell hole again. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. I really like this house. It's been awesome. Yeah. yeah. But uh, next week we'll be at a new place. So uh, cool. New stay place. Tuned. I. E. I. E. Oh wait. Uh, we'll keep it a secret. It's a hidden location. Of the of the podcast, right? Of the podcast realm, mm -hmm. yes. And with that, oh, head over to head over to Patreon. I already <laughs> said that, but we're going to say it again. <laughs> we really appreciate it, and thank you everyone who has given us support. There, uh, Mick Spicy and I were just talking. We we go and we look at people who have like a hundred thousand followers on YouTube, and we we get more donations from our community than they than they do. So Which is th we're very grateful. We are incredibly thankful. grateful. This is one of the best communities. I know. No, this is the community. Mm -hmm on the interwebs right now. And with that, let's get this show on the road.
Jordan, what's happening in the world that is Xbox <laughs> One this week? Uh, well, first, let's talk about some hardware. All right. Oh. <laughs> um, well, the big thing this week is the division. There's, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but uh, oh, I can't wait to talk about yeah, that. I've seen the, a lot uh, of gameplay footage uh, I now. I haven't seen any. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, oh. the Xbox is actually having a division bundle. Oh, cool. So it comes with a one terabyte hard drive, giving you the space that you need. <laughs> <laughs> That's their their little like, motto. Uh, it comes, obviously, with the game and then the controller. You can the standard take, black Jordan, Xbox. Jordan, you can take a phrase and make any phrase creepy. <laughs> I think that's a talent. That I is a talent. Yeah. The way you uh, look like... Uh, you, know, <laughs> you can say that and make it look creepy. So, uh, well done. Yeah. Good. Well played. Yeah. Well, you can buy them. You can buy the this di- the division bundle from Amazon, Best Buy, GameStop, and I'm sure at the Microsoft Store. So, and I'm sure actually pretty much anywhere. So, own. if they sell it, so. you can buy it. Yeah. Oh, hey, another thing I saw this week, and I actually went into my GameStop, and there was a few Elite controllers in stock. Good. So, hmm. check your GameStops. For elite controllers. Oh, uh, Major Nelson actually tweeted that yeah, out. Yeah, he this tweeted week. that out too, and that's why I, I was actually I was actually at, at Target the other, and I went in just to see, and they they had a few. Fun nice. fact: mine was broken. Went in and walked right back out. Have you have you sent yours in yet? I've sent it in. Very I'm nice. waiting for a, a new one. Did you get a confirmation number, tracking number? Yeah. you know, I got all that stuff. Very nice. It was it actually was heading to uh, McAllen, Texas. Oh, which I used to live there. So it's your uh, old stomping ground. Old stomping ground. <laughs> old Trabador down there. Keeping things... Uh... Maybe it's going to Trabador. Yeah, maybe he's going to get my controller. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Well, yeah. It's uh, great. I should have signed it. Sorry, Trabador. <laughs> <laughs> it is broken. So you're <laughs> it's a, a broken, broken controller. controller so. So. <laughs> but, uh, no, I was actually fearful for sending my controller in, worried about whether or not I would get one back. Because it was such on you know an on demand product sure. mm-hmm. kind of thing, so I'm glad. Well, that I'm sure like you know they have like 50 of them just laying in the hallway down there at their place. Just 50? You know? Well, <laughs> there's a lot more than 50 people that want them. <laughs> well, I know, but I'm just saying like <laughs> you're probably they're probably just gonna like like oh let's just grab the one on the desk. There okay, you think that them, they you know? the return? Yeah, oh, yeah, they, have. I guarantee was, they. But have still, it like I really, it's hard to go back to the normal controller. Especially mm, yeah. with the, feels I, like plasticky. Doesn't feels it? like plasticky. I'm a Southpaw player, and I really like the the switch to. They have a little switch on the one to two where you can switch your control schemes that you've mapped out in the software. Sure. That without that, I feel handicapped in games already. Um, so I was, you know, I'm, I was nervous to go back, but whatever. I, I can't wait to get mine back. Yeah, yeah. It's good to know yeah. they're in stock. That was the whole point of that long, strung out conversation I had with you guys. It's good, it's to, good know to know, know the, they're back. They're back. Yeah, good. Well, zero zeros, zeros, Z with heroes, zeros, zeros <laughs> is available now for the Xbox One for all those waiting for it. Oxen free. I hear this is actually a really, Ollie, really Ollie. yeah. I hear really, I hear this is a really yeah. <laughs> fun game. I hear it's very fun. Cool. So. It's a supernatural thriller. Uh huh. Yeah. It's uh. It looks like manga style, though, kind of. No? Uh, a little bit. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. Manga, manga, tomato, tomato. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's 20 bucks. I, I actually hear it's, it's pretty fun, so so check it out. Also, Puzzle Bundle is now available. You get Cube Director's Cut and Unmechanical in- Extended. So two little puzzle games that you can get. Also, remember Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Four ship shooting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naruto ship shooting Ultimate Ninja yeah, Storm Four. Yeah, the one, the the name that you can just yeah, pronounce amazingly perfectly. If you were worried about buying it, there's a demo, so don't even oh, fear not. I'm gonna get it right now. Yeah, there is a free demo available now for the Xbox One for Naruto ship shooting Ultimate Ninja Storm Four. Although I don't know how to spell that to search for it. This seems complicated. Naruto ship shooting Ultimate Ninja Storm okay. Four. <laughs> okay, I got this. Yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Hyperdrive Massacre now available for Xbox One as well. Is, is this like a uh, zombie driver <laughs> in space? No. <laughs> in space. No, I don't think okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just wondering. Uh, we also got. No, I, I don't think it's anywhere close. <laughs> but we also have uh, Rebel Galaxy now available. So, Not a Star Wars game. So Rebel Just Galaxy so you know, I, sounds like a Star Wars. I game. I have actually been waiting for this. Uh, it came out on PC a little while ago. Mm-hmm. I watched all the reviews on it. It is third-person, elite, dangerous, 
less simulation, more arcadey, oh. but just as fun. Oh, cool! Yeah. Um. So I'm really excited for this. I might I might purchase this. I don't know. In, I don't know what the price is on it, but mm-hmm. I, I imagine like mm-hmm. thirty bucks. Nineteen ninety nine. Ah, so I better. definitely will be purchasing this. Mm. Bad boy, Rebel Galaxy. Here I come. Sounds like a Star Wars game, but it's not. It looks really cool. I've been watching people play it. I've been watching it on YouTube. Review everything. I it, believe it it's looks a lot. Called of fun. the Resistance now. <laughs> Resistance Galaxy, I think, is what they got to call that. Uh. It's more RPG ish. Like you, it has like skill trees. And mm. Oh, okay. That's cool. Cool. Uh, also, Gone Home Console Edition now available for the Xbox One. Cool. Uh, the Banner Saga. Oh. Now available for the Xbox One. That is a cool Another game. I watch one. people play that one. Yes. That one's been on Steam for a while. It's now available for the Xbox Turn-based One. Turn-based Viking strategy. And it's cool. Euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also got Assassin's Creed Chronicles India. Oh, I, now know. I don't to know continue, what this is. What is this? To continue. It's, uh, it's goes, I think it goes along with the like Assassin's Creed China and all those. Just the oh, that was the side-scroller, yeah. I think like, it's just, sneak around. I actually thing. haven't looked at it. And I don't mean this in a bad way, but I just I just haven't looked at it. Oh. I was like, oh, Assassin's Creed. Oh, there it is. Another one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, it's ten bucks. Yeah, I think it's the continuation of the side scroller. Yeah. Or it is. You know. But anyway. Hmm. Um. We also got Qbot available. Okay. Which is pretty cool. And I accidentally closed out of one. What was after Assassin's Creed India? Unepic. Unepic. That's the one. An Epic is now available as well, along with Cubot. And check this out: Got Plants it. versus Zombies Garden Warfare Two open multiplayer beta going on right now. Oh, baby! As we speak, it's running until the 18th of January. I believe that is three Monday. days from today. Yeah, right now. Check it out. All you have to do is go it's get it. Just go get it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've I downloaded it. I uh, got to be an Xbox Live Gold member, but other than that, it took a long time to install. Quick to download, long time to install. Don't know why that happened. I wanted to play with some friends, but it took too long. I will. I will just say we, we kind of skipped over Unepic. Uh, mm-hmm. That's out now. Cool game, right up McSpicy's alley. Uh, it's a dungeon puzzler, but mm-hmm. Donkey Kong style. Oh, donk- <laughs> where, like Donkey Kong. Where this like- is the cave, and there's ladders, and you got to figure out how to get up. It it is. It, it looks sweet. I am. This it's only ten bucks. I'm thinking here. Wait, okay, I gotta write that down. Here it is, right here. Like, let me show you this picture. Check this out. Look at that. Oh, and yeah. then you've got your text down here, RPG skills, everything. Like, oh, that's what's it called? On Epic. Okay. That looks right up McSpicy's alley, right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a game I'd like. That looks cool. Mm-hmm. Like, looks a little bit up my alley as well. <laughs> well, then if we get it, then our partners get it. Our gaming partners. <laughs> our, gaming, our gaming life partners. We'll have one big alley. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, all right. On Epic. We got uh, this week's deals with gold. These go through the 18th, so Monday, so uh, after this weekend. Uh, these will no longer be available, but check them out. They're really good. We got Forza 5 and Forza Horizon 2. Uh, we got Another World and the Jackbox Party Pack are kind of the big ones for this week. Uh, we got the Forza 2 and Forza Motorsport bundle, 50% off. That's cool. Good deal. Yeah. Another World, 50% off as well. And the Jackbox Party Bundle, twenty five. I, I, I off. always think about getting this because I think it would be fun to have people over and play this game. Uh-huh. Has anyone tried it? Mm-mm. No, but I hear it's fun because I played the old you don't party know jacks game. like on the PC and yeah. stuff uh-huh. when they first came out. They were way fun, but I don't know how 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 this holds up on the Xbox. I've not I've not played it, and it's a bunch of different game versions. So it's like the you don't know Jack Mario Party version, you know? Yeah, yeah, and I mean. It's a winning combination. It is. I mean, I just think it, I think those games can be really fun. Like I had a on the 360. I don't remember Jordan if you remember what it was called, but it was a it was like the, a movie trivia game, and you had oh, to yeah, click on it. it. Seen it? It was seen it. Yeah, seen I think it, we still have that somewhere laying around the button. It was seen stuff, it yeah. for the Xbox. It was really fun. It we was, played it that. Was fun. Yeah, it was fun to have to, when people were over. But I wonder how you don't know Jackie's. I, I thought about getting it. I don't know. Yeah. How much is it? I don't know. Uh, well, right well, now you don't know Jack. It's, it's, <laughs> it's twenty five percent off, and I'll give you the exact price. It's forty nine ninety nine. Uh, but little you steep. do get Fib Age, Life Swatter, or Life Swatter, Word oh, okay. Spud, Drawful. You don't know Jack twenty fifteen. Okay, so it's a big. Okay, yeah, it's like a big party party game. bundle. Yeah, it's a party bundle. Oh, check this out! Great news. Yo, every Xbox Live Gold member. 
every single one. Every one of them. For one week. Can play EA Access for free. That week. means the vault. Right? Yeah, the, the vault. vault is there, baby. Yeah. So that's, uh, what is it, Royal McElroy, UFC, Battlefield 4, Dragon Age, Titanfall. Let us play a round of golf, brethren. Oh. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, if we can all play together. Let's play a round of golf. The Maddens. It FIFA. Really we can do hard. some FIFA as well. We should. Oh, we should. We could throw. Well, last year's FIFA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I meant. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm down for some for round of golf. Here we come. Nine or 18. You want to go the whole distance? Let's go the distance, baby. I like it. That game is hard. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you. I play only on simulation. Okay? <laughs> we don't play arcade mode. That is that is the deal. Okay. okay. I'm okay with that. Okay. I, a cool benefit. I think, I think it's smart for them. Uh, also, in EA Access news, this has nothing to do with the Xbox, but it came to PC gamers. Uh, this week, EA yeah. Access is yeah. now on the PC as well, $5 a month. Although they don't have the same deal. On Xbox Live, it's $5 a month or 35 a year. On the PC, it's only $5 a month for an option. But they have a much larger back catalog. Like they have yeah. Sims in there. They've yeah. got all the Dragon Age, the original Dragon mm-hmm. Ages, which if you have a PC and you want EA Access or you FIFA, want to experience good games, the original Dragon Ages and are amazing. Sims 3, yeah. not the Sims 4. Yeah. Is. Anyways, I think it's cool. I yeah. think it's going to be this. It's a Netflix for gaming. I think big studios are going to head this way. I think EA is just the first doing it's it. It's called Origin Access on the PC. Yeah. Yeah. So you do it through Origin. Like Blizzard. Can you see Blizzard doing something like that? I mean, or not Blizzard. Well, they Activision. Have... Let, let's, let's say oh, Activision. Okay. And including Blizzard games in there. Well, if they include Blizzard games, that would be big. But I, I mean, I don't like. Know if they would, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, well, not all games. Remember, brand new games. So, for instance, the latest StarCraft wouldn't be in there. Like, the latest edition of StarCraft 2 wouldn't be in there. Legacy but of the Void. But they StarCraft would have Vanilla of, okay. could, could be in there, right? Okay, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I mean, Anyways, it, they're it a big would, publisher, Activision. I could see I, them doing something yeah. like this. Ubisoft. If it, I, mean, I mean, technically it is kind of working. So, if it's just that, you know... I don't. I can't remember what it's called in economics or whatever. When a big player moves forward with something that works, everyone else follows. Follows. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I, I think I think it's working. And I'll tell you where I think it's working well is it's keeping irrelevant games. For instance, Battlefield Four, you can still get in a server completely full, and I bet you it's because of the yeah. vault. Yeah. Like it's still. I actually really fresh. enjoy playing Battlefield, and now I've completed my collection of Battlefield. Oh. Because I purchased on every system. Don't yeah, you? I've purchased uh, five dollars <laughs> of Origin Access. Did mm-hmm. you really? Oh yeah! Wow, cool. Man. I thought, why not? Um, you, uh, you really do live the life. But so that's five dollars a month, right? Yeah, I just did five for now. Also, those are my shorts that you're wearing. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about those shorts, <laughs> and you're wearing them. Uh, <clears throat> this is David's last day here. You got to take those off before you leave. <laughs> yeah. He's got to pack those. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Cool, really cool. So, pretty fun. I, I anyway, think I'm wearing my my own clothes. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Good. That's just scary. Uh, it's like so, a bad dream. This February, we get another Xbox One update, and one of the big features in this update is when you're going to join a party, you can see who's in the party before you join it. So, say you're in a party. Happens to me and all the you're time. like, Jump you're like, in. oh crap, that guy's in there. Mr. Jump McSpicy's in. in the party. Jeez, yeah. in I don't want to talk to him. Yeah. I see Jordan and Jonathan online in a party. McSpicy in there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, dang it. Now, yeah, I gotta play shoot. With him. now I have to talk to him. <laughs> so you can see who is in the party before. What if someone's appearing offline, but they're in a party? You'll see just see who's in the party. So, so you'll see who's in the party. You'll see who's so in the party. Yeah. Okay. You answered my question. Thank you. So, but uh, anyway, that, uh, so yeah, that, that's just a cool little update, but yeah. And they're coming out with, with more and we'll learn more as it gets closer. But that's one of the bigger, you know, headliners for it. See who's in the party before you join the party. So if you don't like someone, don't join that party. I guess that's uh, great. Yeah. Respawn. Really excited Entertainment. Yeah. They, um, so they put a post, uh, they're hiring for a new game. So, and the post says, a new game in the Titanfall universe as well as a third-person action-adventure IP. Oh, cool. So, they're working on working two on games game. right now. They're working on a new Titanfall game, or a new game in the Titanfall universe. And they're working on a third-person action-adventure game, which is really cool. I like third-person action-adventure games a yeah. lot, actually. Yeah, One of my fun. favorite genres. Well, Titanfall was a good game. I think they're a good company. Mm-hmm. So, that'll be fun. I wonder if we'll see another Titanfall at E3 this year. 
perhaps that because it's been what two years since yeah. the old one. Did so. you see Assassin's Creed is not coming out every year now as well? Wow, they're, they're, they're dialing waiting. it back they're a little bit. They're dialing it back, and that's how, I think that's how you've got to do it. This like every it works for sports and shooters, and that's it. Nah, shooters not even because I feel like. And this is just what I feel like. Okay, go for like, it, Jordan. Just say it. I feel like Call of Duty, I don't feel like you're getting your money's worth. Sure. I, I mean, feel well, like... Yeah. It seems like every month you're like, oh, I got the latest Call of Duty three months later. Oh, do you see the new one that's coming out yeah, this year? Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's. I could see that. In addition to all the DLC packs that they have for the Call of Duty already, you're, they're not hurting on money. Well, That's I know. for sure. It's working for them. Yeah, so... I don't know, maybe Call of Duty can do it, because that's just, it's, Call of Duty doesn't attract new players, it keeps its old players, right? Isn't that their niche? Like, 90% of Call of Duty players only play Call of Duty? Mm, something, yeah, something, something, something like that. Something like, like, like that. real insane. Insane in the membrane. <laughs> insane in the brain! Uh, anyway, also, we have a little bit of news on the developer Square Enix talking about their Final Fantasy difficulty system, how it'll work. I'm just going to read the paragraph, because... I don't even know how it's going to work. But this is how they say it's going to work. How do they say Quote, it's going to work? Quote, by having the ability to switch modes, which is, you know, like combat stances sure. and stuff, we want to make it so both players who like action-oriented technical gameplay as well as those who want to fight at a slower, more relaxed pace can all enjoy the combat in their own style. This switching system is a key part of our gameplay that we decided to introduce based on the feedback we received in the episode Dusuke demo. So sorry, not switching between combat, but the ability to switch modes of combat, if that makes sense. It's kind of confusing. Yeah, I don't know. But they are Japanese. (laughs) So Well no, I don't understand. So they're what they're saying is they're making it so that you can So switch the way you fight? Well no no so like there's basically it, Let me read another quote. Are they trying to make it easier for new players to get involved? Well, no, no. They're trying to make it oh. accessible for every type of combat. So, so the equivalent to difficulty level in Final Fantasy XV is a system where you can switch between different battle oh, modes. Oh, battle modes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay, like okay. a laid back kind of mode. So it's, I don't know. How, it's kind of like. So like easy, normal, and hard? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> there it is, there it is. No, I bet you what it is 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 you probably have more control over your character but the bad guys are also harder. Type of something like that, I bet you. Because mm-hmm. or else it's just easy, normal, and hard, right? And maybe yeah, already maybe, exists in every game. On maybe the I'm just reading They're, too well, into this, but it just seemed really confusing to me. But that, I, you that's know, maybe I didn't read like. it enough. It's like Forza games. You know, you can just turn on go fast and brake versus changing the gears. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Simulation. So. Easy. <laughs> medium. Normal. <laughs> hard. <laughs> but anyway. That's how the difficulty system will work in Final Fantasy XV. Anyway, I'm really excited for this game. It looks cool. Yeah, I, cool. I, it does really actually look cool. Yeah, episode Deuce Game is fun. Or Deuce, Deuce Say. Deuce just say. the demo. I don't know why they can't just call it that anymore. The, the Final Fantasy demo looks yeah. fanta- is fantastic. Yeah. That's... It's so pretty. And the fighting mode, I've really, I oh, really yeah, love the fighting, <laughs> how that works, yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. The best part is that guy that comes out of the sky and blows the crap out of everybody. Yeah, Saruman. It changed my life. Yeah, the Saruman move, where you just like, uh, it's like, he's like oh, <laughs> and, and you can just do that whenever. Well, you gotta like kind of like charge it up, but yeah, you can just do that. It's the, great. It's like it's like it turns a Final Fantasy game into like a God of War kind of on your side, a boss on your <laughs> side. <laughs> so Microsoft confirmed today that Gears of War Four release date will move to fall of 2016. So instead of that's like two years away, that's a long time. Oh, I was like, well, it's 2016 right now. It's just in the fall. Oh wait, 2016. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the six is at the end now. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it's like a year now. Yeah. So oh, that it'll be. Me. I'm st- I'm still adjusting to the new year. Okay. So yeah, they just confirmed that uh, we'll launch a little sooner than expected. Sooner. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, because it was I think it was holiday originally, right? So now it's fall. So, so September, October. Good. Yeah, Microsoft, during a live, scene, live stream broadcast on the 10th, uh, the representatives at Microsoft confirmed that Gears of War may launch a little sooner than expected. Hands okay. up, he wants to say How something. How excited are you for Gears of War 4? I'm excited. As excited as you were for Halo? No. I, don't, I don't feel like I'm as excited for Gears of War as I was for Halo. Probably not, but I'm but, still excited. I mean... L- but this is like... It, if Marcus Phoenix was in it, I'd probably be a lot more excited. But it's just, you know... Because it's new characters, I just I gotta feel. You them don't out feel first. as connected. Yeah, there you go. I don't yeah. feel as connected. I gotta feel them out first. But I mean, like, 
that's just because that's us. I have friends that won't play Halo, but they're diehard. They're diehard gears. gears. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, and, and I've been having a lot of fun with the remastered gears, by the way, just so everybody knows. Okay. Well, I uh, have depends. thought about going back and playing through all of them. Oh. They're not that long, the campaigns. No. Well, the first one's not very long. The second one's so... not very long, and the third one's really not that long either. <laughs> yeah, so. well, then, uh, story checks yeah. out. That's, thank you. David, story <laughs> checks out. Hey, thank you very much. Because uh, I have them all with backwards compatibility. I thought yeah. maybe I'd... You also have the remastered. Yes, I do. So, yeah. <laughs> Might as well just play that one. Yeah. Rock Band's coming out with a DLC next week. The 90s Grunge. We got Soundgarden, My Wave. Nirvana. No. Soundgarden. How well, can you it want be Nir- 90s grudge, Grunge? Grunge without, without Nirvana. Nirvana. Okay, I <laughs> yeah. get what you're saying. Okay. Kurt no, Cobain. No Kurt Cobain. <laughs> you, can have, you can have, I mean, that's like saying 80s music. It's not Michael Jackson. It's not 80s music. <laughs> well, that's a good point. That's a uh, pretty valid point there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got so much more. He's just, you know. Uh, you have Stone Temple Pilots, Wicked Garden, and Temple of the Dog, Hunger Strike. Okay. And that's about it. So, <laughs> I almost bought Rock Band 4 last I week. I didn't know you were a 90s grunge rock snob. A little bit, yes. Those I, were my formative years. Okay, okay. <laughs> I almost bought... Uh, I, uh, I, I want to buy Rock Band, but I don't. I I want I'd buy it if it was one hundred fifty dollars I'd buy it. Yeah, it's the price point, yeah. really. But I might go to the store today and buy. Then I'll go with you and buy Guitar right after Hero this. Let's for go my birthday. I got oh, birthday money. Yeah. Buy what? Guitar Hero Live. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, can I come too? I love yeah. it when my friends buy. It's Jor- it is Jordan's birthday. Oh yeah, this this I, week I, I got meant to, I meant to get him something. <laughs> for, <laughs> Me too. Yeah, us. yeah, from us. Yeah, oh, but Thanks, I've been guys. moving, so uh, it's an IOU, almost as good as real <laughs> yeah. cash. So next week, happy birthday, Jordan. <laughs> I got uh, him a Star Wars calendar though. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That I gave him. Didn't you get it for free or something? Yeah. And you I just got it. Have one. this color changing candle. <laughs> <laughs> that's what these candles are for. Happy birthday! <laughs> yeah. Didn't you oh, like? Man, I get feel it. so bad. I meant <laughs> all week. You got that calendar for free, and then you just gave it to me. Right. No. no I think we that's bought, what, no. we bought that camera, but sure? we bought it at Christmas time. We're like, oh, we could give this to Jordan's birthday. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay. That, that was the story on it. Because when your wife was telling me about it, she sounded like. You guys just I mean, it only across like, it, and they're no, like, oh, let's give it to him. No, well, that's what happened, yeah, when we were Christmas shopping. Uh, oh, okay. They happened to come across it for your birthday. <laughs> yeah. Don't cheapen the gift. <laughs> it is actually pretty cool. It's on the fridge. Hey, what do you want for your birthday? I don't know, because well, I have some birthday money left, and I think I might get Guitar Hero Live, but I just don't know. Oh, how old are you? 24. Boom. Wow. The big 2-4. Mm-hmm. I had to do the math the other that's day. A, that's a couple dozen. I had to subtract 2016 from 1992. <laughs> to make sure yeah. I had those years. Well, I, lost, like, I like gained a whole year one time like there's because nothing, I thought I was older than I really was. There's nothing like, you know, there's no big age anymore, right? Big age? Yeah, like there's like, you know, 16, 18, 21, right? So why I think keep 50 track? is probably the next big Well, year. 30, then 40, yeah, then 50. Well, what do you really every get? Every decade. <laughs> yeah, what is The, de- the zeros, if it ends in a zero, that's a ma- landmark. Uh, I don't know. If, if it's two zeros, maybe. <laughs> but <laughs> So the only birthday that matters to you is... A hundred. A centennial. I feel like that's the only time I should really celebrate. Also, Castle I mean... Will. It's his birthday as well. <laughs> yeah. Castle Will Kill. Castle Will Kill. So happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. You share it with Jordan the Man. So. Good, good, good for you. Anyway, UFC 2 closed beta coming soon. Oh, so very if nice. you're a UFC fan and you want to get in the closed beta, it's coming soon. So check it out. Oh, thanks, Big Bear. <laughs> uh, also, we got some <laughs> new uh, Xbox One backward compatibility coming. Uh, Phil Spencer was asked a question, uh, basically if there's any chance he can give us a time for when we hear about the next backward compatibility games, and he said we have a couple more games doing the final run through. Um, wanted to wait until we had a full list, not too much longer, he says. But we did get, there was, the you know how they let you vote on which game you mm-hmm. want next. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was the most requested Xbox 360 game for backward compatibility at 141,000 votes. Wow. Uh, the next top five were Skyrim, which I think would be a great Skyrim one. Skyrim would be yeah, awesome. I think that one would be way popular. I would go back and play Skyrim. So, and you already got Fallout 3 that's backward compatible, so I'm sure Bethesda would be okay with Skyrim. Yeah. 
Yeah, true. So, but I, anyway, that one would be great. Red Dead Redemption, also a big, a big one. But it's been in the top five. It was the top one for what two, two or three months in a row. Mm-hmm. I want to play that game again. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I want to play it real bad. Rockstar kind of made it sound like they don't know if they're going to do it or not. So remember a few weeks back. Yeah, and they might. You never know. So uh, then you also have Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two and Call of Duty Black Ops as the other ones. But I think Skyrim would be. I think that's my next vote. I would go Skyrim. I think yeah. out of all of those, just how I feel right now, I'd probably pick Skyrim. I would. Like Red Dead Redemption uh, is Elder Scrolls is kind of killing it for me right now. So like I would, in I, a good way. No, in a bad way. Like killing my enthusiasm to play that game. Elder Scrolls is killing your Elder enthusiasm. Elder Scrolls Online is killing your enthusiasm to play what game? Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll get to it later, but yes. So Skyrim, I would love to jump into Skyrim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Single player. Yeah. yeah. Really. Anyway, so more backward compatibility on the way, which is very cool. Um, we also have some news on Quantum Break. It is, quote, so close, end quote, to being done. That is cool. So they are getting ready. And that is coming out this year, hopefully. This game, to me, is like what has the appeal that that one game that I can't even name. Where you're, that, that one game that's awesome, where you're too. Fighting a, you're fighting, you drink the juice, and you turn <laughs> into... Oh, Hulk, Hulk, like... No, wait, you know what, what I mean. What juice? And drink? You're Tony Hawk's, a game? You're Tony Hawk skating around everywhere. Oh. Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive. Oh, Sunset this, Overdrive. This has the appeal of Sunset... The juice. The, the, the juice. overcharge. That yeah, I was overcharge. confused there. Uh, oh, yeah. This Quantum Break has that appeal in that it's something different. Uh-huh. And that's I'm really looking forward to well, that. Well, it's, it's huge. Like I mean, it's going to be the whole entertainment experience you know? yeah you're gonna I'm, sit down you're gonna sit down and have gameplay plus a tv show i mean this is gonna be an investment well and is it legitimate like will it work within a game having a tv show within a game we've tried the having a tv show standalone I, and a game simultaneously i think i think you have to go i think in situations like this you have to go all out you can't say oh, okay well for the players that don't want to watch a tv show no no, no have this, sure. you have to go look you know what this you are, game, and this yeah. is what you are, and you just yeah. go for it. This is our game. It's integrated with the TV show. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, but that's how it's. You know, I think mm-hmm. you got to go. There's two. I feel like this is just how I feel. Okay, but I take, take your time. I feel like the game developers are being a little too nice to the gamers. I just like there's so much like when you come out of game, there's like, oh, you can do this, but if you don't want to do that, you can do this. Like, and I feel like like Elder Scrolls. They're trying to. They're trying to like get well, the best of the yeah, MMO the and the best of this. I think you just got to pick one and go. Just be who you yeah, are. Fi- exactly. Fi- be the who Final you. Fantasy. Yeah. Just... You know what? You could do it on easy mode <laughs> yeah. or hard mode. Yeah. You Whatever be, you want. Yeah, you just got to be. <laughs> and that's great to have that choice, but I feel like it hurts your game sometimes. You know what yeah, I mean? Not all the time. It has I feel potential like, to. Like, I think Quantum Break, like this game, I think it should be like it's integrated with the TV show. That's how it is. Okay, because and I don't the, back down from it. The, you know, last, yeah. you know. the last game to do a TV show game and stuff happened it was Defiance. And they were probably kind of the first yeah. to do it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how did that work? It out? was awful. What, what, what made it awful, though? The game. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So for those, <laughs> I, I impulsed by that with bought that So with for you. those of you that don't and know, I went, Defiance I went is all a first... out. I bought the like, $200 edition. Yeah, you, you still yeah, got I that saw, little... Which, which is actually really cool. Yeah. Like, the show was good until season two when they... So for those of you that don't know, Defiance it got canceled. Let's just put it that way. Was a way. PC game, an MMO, first-person shooter MMO on the 360 and as well on the 360 yeah, and it, PC. It kind of paved yeah. the way for like Cross- an MMO yeah. on mm-hmm. a console. That's true. Um, and a TV show simultaneously, and what happened in the TV show happened well affected the game. affected the game There'd and vice cross versa. Episodes, yeah. So. They were the first to attempt that. And the first season was really cool, especially with the show, because you'd go through the campaign. It's just the story of the game, the main story was weak. How was the game, though? Okay. The game like, itself was fun. The gameplay was solid. Like sure. it, was, it was like Destiny. You'd go into a dungeon. You'd do, I mean, it was well, cool. know, there was so much potential in like, gearing up. And, yeah, too, you know, but so. it, just, it just didn't hold my attention for very long. So what does Quantum Break need to do? It's, I'm it's, excited. It's not the same thing. It's it's taking that idea and molding it into yeah. one product. I I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be cool to like play halfway through a level and then it clips into the TV show and kind of shows you what happened. You're like, oh, I did that. You know, that's crazy. It just you makes, know what I mean? It like, makes it more. It's going to be a very good story experience, and I think that's, that's what you cool. need to buy this game for the story experience. Not to mention the whole time stuff is cool too. But yeah. and plus, it's Bobby. It reminds me. I know of, it's yeah. Iceman. This game reminds me of the mechanics of Matrix. Remember Matrix, oh, the yeah. game? That was a fun game. That was a fun game. 
running on walls. Yeah. Focus. Mm-hmm. So, but anyway, I'm I'm really excited for Quantum Break. I think it's my next excited one for this year. I think it's the most excited one. No, actually, that's a lie. There's one more game in front of it that I'm more excited for. And Far we'll Cry Primal that later. No, you're not excited for Far Cry Primal. I'm actually really not. Oh. <sighs> You need to rewatch like, I think the trailer. <laughs> That's why. No, there's like no, I, there's no dragon at the end of it. We get yeah. that. But. No, no, like <laughs> like the the thing is the thing is cool. You know when you can do the one thing. What's it called? The thing is cool, yeah. and you can do the I don't one know what thing. You're talking when about. you send your animal after the people. Oh I mean, yeah, that's yeah, super yeah. Cool. That is cool. I just don't know. I, I well, I mean, you're getting it, so I'll play it. Yeah. I have never. Well, that's a lie. I think I played Far Cry two. Well, and the original those, Far Cry, story, but I never played three, four. This game will be cool. So okay. Anyway, no, I mean, I don't know. Tomb Raider, mm-hmm. Rise of the Tomb Raider director of Crystal Diamond Dynamics. He uh, he left the studio. Uh, Brian Horton has left uh, Crystal Dynamics, and uh, yeah, he's going on to a new adventure. Cool. So Maybe very, whatever very... he touches next will become good as well. <laughs> 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 that's uh, that's very positive. Thank yeah. you. I mean, he did a good job with Tomb Raider. Yeah, so. I think he did a really good job. Rise he of the Tomb Raider really kind game. of brought it back from death. Yeah. Yeah. He I'm, did. I'm really excited for this next story. Yeah. Because this game, every week. I know. I, 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 I want to get back I'm into it. I'm at work, and I'm like, I'm excited to get back into this game. And I get home, and I get distracted by M-A-D-D-E-N. By the way, mm. I played this game this week. Ah. Oh. And we don't, they don't know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. no. Sorry. The Witcher 3 <laughs> oh. expansion. Yes, the devel the the devel- So we're talking about Blood and Wine, the new expansion getting yes. ready to come out. The developers say it's better than the main game, which is a bold statement. But I like, believe wow. it. I do believe them. They've delivered on everything. I was thinking about this. It's kind of funny when you like think about it. Like, oh yeah, this is better than the main game. It's like, well, why didn't you make that the main game? Well, then? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, but the main I know, game but no, is I know. so good. It's so good. But it, when you read it, it makes you think like, yeah, that one sucked. Here's the real one. <laughs> You know, like, <laughs> that's dangerous. Is what you? Yeah, yeah that's funny. Uh, no, it's, it's just funny. No, but the main game is fantastic. It's so awesome. this being better than the main game, I bet you the story is just insane. Yeah, you know. But anyway, very cool. Really excited for that. See, I'm really excited. And every week, like I said, should I, I should I, I buy this? Jumping in, should I buy this expansion and just play this expansion without even beating the game first? Like just go straight into the because this, no. this is the expansion that gives you the new land and all that. No. Like the huge update. No. Okay, no, you've got to play through first. Okay. Okay. I'm trying. It's hard. It's very hard. <laughs> I, yeah. uh, Not this, hard because it's tedious or anything. It's hard because there's so much in yeah. the game. Yeah. It's just so much. Just don't get distracted. Stay with what you think is the main quest. So I'm going to go right into uh, me playing this. You know, I'm sure. just going to start talking about it. So I played it this week, and I kept remembering why that I never really got in, like back into it permanently. Uh-huh. It's because my game save was in a dungeon, and I didn't know where I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So it, I, I had to sit down for 30 minutes and find out how to get out of the dungeon. You get did, your though, right? it was, Well, and it, see, the dungeon was completed. Oh. And so I didn't know what direction or wherever to were, go. Yeah, you were, like, stuck. But I, I got out. And now I'm ready to... I, I've started playing it again. So picking this game back up, because this is where I'm at. You're, you're, you were farther than me, though, so uh-huh. it's le- it was less of an option for you. I'm 10 hours in. Okay. So I don't mind starting over because I don't remember everything. I don't remember the cra- the crafting. I don't remember and and it's nice when you play a game like that to be to know it from the beginning. You yeah. know what I mean? Cuz they show you stuff that you if can you just if go I back and, it now, Are you talking about the story? Stuff. Like you can just go back and read the just, journal. So No, no, no. I'm talking about like they tutor you on like how to how to craft, how to fight, yeah. how to, yeah. you know. I would suggest if that's your what you want to do, Play two hours on a new character, then go back to your old character. It's a great, great idea. Yeah. It'll, it's not... I think it'll come back to you. Because I did the I same thing. I, I remember the story a, a and couple, everything. A couple fights... I mean, the first few fights, I was a little, you know, bees to dodge. Just remember that. <laughs> and that's, you know... <laughs> and then left is your uh, yeah, you just, steel once, sword once you and right on the I don't think, I don't your... think you need to start a new one, because that's a lot of time. So I, mean, yeah, I but, would just... But in a game like that, I don't mind just go out over, to the, because I really Just go out to the wilderness... It. And train. And train, yeah. <laughs> yes, it's like you. Rocky yeah. going to Russia. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. You know, just no, have I, some time alone. It, it'll come back, because the, uh, the only thing you're right is I, the crafting. I don't, but I don't think, the, I mean, it's not too complex, you know. Well, it actually, it kind of is. Yeah. I'm is, still yeah. lost. 
<laughs> so anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm at that same spot, David, because I thought, should I start a new character sure. too? And that that's what oh, I. I gotta play this game now. After my resolution in my mind, I'm just gonna play an hour or two of sure. a new character, and it'll it, it'll catch up all the buttons. It'll catch mm-hmm. up. Sure. I even went through and read some stuff. It it. It's I have nice the strategy guide, so I read that on the <laughs> on the crapper, yeah, on the throne. Well, also another thing too. Uh, I I just like. I have a feeling that characters that I've met or dealt with will come back later in the game, and I don't, I don't remember everything about them, and it would be nice to <coughs> just submerge myself just in kill that em. world. I think I'm, I think I'm going to start a new character. Okay. Then I'm going to start over. Just straight up? Straight up delete. But what go. about all the Gwent cards that you earned? I really didn't earn that much. Yeah, and I, I'm actually – I don't play Gwent that much. I kind of I, I, I will. Kinda, I go into town. I'm like, you know, I wonder if do? that uh, that I'll, guy over there has a good card for me. I can win. <laughs> I wonder if I can beat him. <laughs> you know what? My deck it has nothing to do deck. with questing. It's if I they, want better cards. If they could make like a companion app, that guy for like on your phone to play Gwent. You know, I'd play it on my phone. Yeah, dude, I would pay two dollars to buy that from yeah. the Android store or Apple store and play that. Just two dollars? No, not anymore. One ninety nine. One ninety nine. I think that's yeah. a good price. Devs, listen. I'd up. buy packs for ninety nine cents. Sure. Extra packs. Expensive. Whoa. Yeah. And the game, the packs you earn in game transfer over. That would yeah. be yeah. awesome. That would be really cool. Yeah. That would be that would super be cool. cool. Anyway, Witcher 3 expansion, better than the main game, the devs say. So, very cool. This is actually one of my favorite stories of the week. <laughs> Everyone hates Gwent in chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. What are you talking about? I love that game. I, I actually don't think I've won a Gwent match. Maybe well, that's why I don't, I don't a- think I understand how to play. The AI is <laughs> dumb. Like, I am, I've am, i lost completely, and then they make a stupid move and kill themselves. Oh, okay. And it's like, oh, Not on my I'll game. take that card. I must be playing on the hard mode or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I, I guess know. I'm on easy. Yeah, yeah. No, anyway, my, one of my favorite stories of the week, Ark gets a new update, and guess what they added? A hundred plus servers. More than a hundred servers. Good. Thank goodness. They needed it bad. For that. Not even the best part. Oh, yeah. A prehistoric yeah. kangaroo. Yeah, and it looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, look at the thing. <laughs> it's that's giant. That's like a big bunny. That looks like the, uh, what are those, womp rat? No, oh, the womp rat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it Star does. Wars. Yeah. Star Wars. Well, you can ride one now in Ark. And it looks exactly And it's like, like in the snowy area, too. Can they not? Can they go wrong with this game? I don't think so. It's called the Prosoptodon. Prosoptodon on Hoth. Matt, don't you want to just sit in their board meetings? Hey guys, what should we do this week? Let's add uh, kangaroo. Yeah. What about a kangaroo? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Frank, get on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's so cool. Anyway, but yes, the servers as well. Huge, good at update for for Xbox One. The servers. That's huge because I really want to start an Xbox One community, but. There's nothing. I went on even this week. I went on on Tuesday night, and the lowest server was still like 65 or something. Yeah. So five people could get in. You know, yeah. it, it's yeah. insane. This game is like the number one played well, game on Xbox Live right now. It's 65, and then you go to try to get in, and you can't get in. Yeah, you just, there's it's just, like it's not up. They have sold way too many copies versus how many servers they have to let people play. Yeah, I don't. Maybe they didn't expect because it's still an alpha, right? Who would pay for an alpha game? But it got huge. Yeah. Well, it was the advertising. Who doesn't want to ride dinosaur? Yeah. Who doesn't want to combine Rust with Jurassic Park? Yeah. Who doesn't want to put a house on a brontosaurus, <laughs> a brontosaurus and ride yeah. around shooting, being able to craft machine guns? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like the, it's like the ultimate game. So, hey, it. speaking of this, this, this game reminds me of Minecraft, obviously. And do you want to hear some Minecraft news for the week? Would love to. Let me tell you this. Okay. Pornhub. Oh. Yeah. Number one search thing. Minecraft. On Pornhub? Yeah, not even kidding. Go to GameSpot.com, read the article. So everyone goes to Pornhub and searches Minecraft. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. What comes up? I don't know. I didn't try it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Not, wow. not even kidding. On GameSpot, check out the article. What is wrong with I wonder people? if they're at the wrong site. <laughs> yeah. Is this the Minecraft website? Hey, Mom, what's this? <laughs> Trying to find... Oh, the graphics got really good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, oh, it's... Yeah, can you believe that? That's, that was, uh, that's crazy. That's, uh... What is wrong with the world? I anyway, <laughs> I just... I saw that... I didn't even put it in the news. I wasn't even going to mention it, but that was just... <laughs> anyway, moving on to happier news. Oh, David, this year's Madden will see the Rams yes. in Los Angeles. Moving to L.A. In fact, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Ready. I think it's my new team. 
the Los Angeles Rams. It's my new uh, team. They were they were in L.A. Why do they want to move to L.A.? They were in L.A. previously back in the day. They, it's where their roots are. Moved to St. Louis, won a couple championships. Now they're coming back to L.A. I love their colors. I love their uh, mascot. I think I'm a Rams guy now. The Chargers, I have tried to get behind the San Diego Chargers year after year after year. Their ownership sucks. They blow it every year. They suck. I hate their guts. They fire the only good thing that happened to them coaching-wise, Marty Schottenheimer, in the last 20 years. So I'm going to Los Angeles Rams. I am an L.A. Rams guy. Yep. Nice. They, uh, I'm really happy to have them I don't back. know if this is what the stadium's going to look coach. like. He's an ex-USC guy. No. Then you're, yeah. They'll actually, while their stadium's being built, USC. they're going to be playing at the Memorial Coliseum. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I don't know if this is what the stadium will look like. I'm assuming it will, but they have a screenshot of the Los Angeles Rams Stadium. It's a pretty that sweet looking stadium. Huge. Yeah, I don't. It's a joint effort. So the Rams and the Raiders will well, both sh- be in LA. Sh- okay. Yeah. Oh no, the Rams and the Chargers will both be in LA, and I think the are Raiders, they going to share like the stadium? They're sta- sh- sharing the same stadium, just like in, they do in New York, and 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 the Raiders are looking at going to San Diego. Huh. I think fascinating. Anyway, uh, the Los Angeles Rams are going to be in the new Madden. Really excited. Year, so. That's yeah, cool. It is going to be cool. Oh, uh, by the way, everyone, if you're in my Madden league, for, uh, I did not update the league. I didn't progress it forward on Wednesday. Seems like a lot of you are no longer playing. So <laughs> so get your game in. I will update it again on Sunday. It's just been a super busy week for mm-hmm. me. So, mm-hmm. so I apologize. Mm-hmm. You didn't even play soccer this week. It was so busy. Didn't do anything, yeah. mm-hmm. literally. I missed you. Yeah, we lost because of you. I have no doubt that that's why you lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, one less person to just stand there. On the <laughs> stand there. <laughs> hey, that's my role. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else should run. Uh, if there's any X1 bros in the uh, Utah area who might want, who are really good at soccer and want to join a team, we have an X1 bros team that we, we would love. <laughs> or if you want to start a men's team that's the X1 bros, I'll be on it. <laughs> that'd be that'd be so fun. Community team. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Diablo three came out with its big two point four update. It is Huge now on the catch. Xbox One. Yeah, added new zones, um, bunch of new stuff. Very cool. Now there is problems with the console version. Uh, people have been reporting Blizzard is on it. They're trying to work on it, fixing yeah. it. They they're telling you to please put any problems you have because they're trying to recreate the problems. What happened to me is it. the patch never would download. I would go in, load up, and it would always stay stuck. So I deleted my character. I'm starting over on that one, too. Yep. You know you don't have to. You don't like, have to delete a Diablo character. I know that, but I want to start what from is, scratch. Which, and I read it. My class Do you know, do you know why you never finish games? Okay. Because, because you keep starting This over. one, the, of all games, <laughs> this one you don't need it's to. It's made. It's made to replay the missions yeah. like you've never played them before. Yes, I know. But I wanted I wanted to start from scratch and just submerge myself again. Uh, I was actually time, playing I'm Diablo. A cru- I'm a crusader. I'm going yeah, Crusader. I started a Crusader last, as well. Uh, last time I was the Archer dude. Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, yes. Crusader. No, <laughs> Kenny, it's pew, pew. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, so Diablo patch 2.4 is out. It has the, I think it's two new zones. I just think I'm hardcore uh, to leave my characters. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to start over. <laughs> okay. You just create a hardcore character. When it dies, you're done. You, yeah. Just I'm do there. that. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I'm do I don't it. think you'll get out of the first zone. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it up on YouTube. <laughs> okay. It's like a four-minute video. <laughs> like, oh. It'll be ten minutes, but it'll be three different characters. <laughs> That's funny. We should start a. We should do a an Iron, core, an, like, an Iron Man. Yeah, an Iron Man for Diablo, and just stream it. See how far we can get. When one person dies, we just leave that guy behind. Okay, and, and go on. It. He's yeah. out. He's out. He he gets All right, off. See you guys. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done. I guess I'm going to watch Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Anyway, uh, yeah, Diablo 3 patch is out. There is a few problems. They're asking, Blizzard's asking if you can just let them know of the problems. They're trying to re-simu- or simulate all the problems so they can fix them and, and get it going. But they are working on it. So uh, This one's actually kind of cool. Homefront. Uh, Homefront is scheduled to release on the 17th of May uh, this year. Closed beta for Homefront is going to run exclusively on Xbox One next month. That's February. Are we excited for Homefront? I know you, I, and, you and Jonathan I, really liked the No, I Homefront. didn't even play the first one. John really liked oh, it. Oh, Jonathan yeah. did. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah uh, I have no idea. I'm going to play the beta and see how I feel from there. I literally am right in the middle with this game. Don't know yet. I'm, I want to play the beta. I, I mean, it looks fun. It looks like a shooter, but I just... I. 
I want to play the beta and then just see how yeah, I feel. Yeah, see how you feel. Let's be honest, I'll probably end up buying it, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I'm. I'm with you. I don't know about this game. Yeah, I, I just want. I want to play the beta. I'm excited for the beta, and then you know, just kind of see how I feel about it and go from there. Go okay. from there. So, all right, getting into one of my favorite stories of the week, which is the division. A lot of division this week. First of all, um, also over at Gamespot, when you're done reading that Pornhub article, <laughs> you can check out the division article, a real article. Um. They got to play it, and they're talking about it. They do say uh, they their their headline uh, more like Destiny than you think, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because I think Destiny has a good formula. Yeah, yeah but, Destiny uh, does have a good formula. But uh, one thing they're talking about um, when you're going out in the world, uh, you won't find other players. It's just you and your three man squad. Um, so y- you'll just be there. The only time you'll find big groups of random players is in uh, they the call tower? it a, they, yeah they call it a Destiny style social hub that occupies small, specific pop- pockets of the world of the map. They do, from what it sounds like, it sounds like Manhattan is recreated fantastic. It like looks they, Yeah, awesome. and from what I've seen, really good. So very cool. They got to play it a lot. They um, the, the customization is what I think is cool. You can customize your guns. Um, they did say the controls were a little different, but I'm sure every game the controls yeah, are a little different. You just, get used, you just get used to it, you know what I mean? Um but very, very cool. I'm, I'm really excited for this game. I think it's going to be cool. Cool, cool. No, yeah, I'm but excited too. I don't, I don't know if they meant this as an insult or as a compliment, but they did say um, more than once they emptied their entire clip at an enemy and still had to reload to finish them off. I like that. It's, you know, bosses. You know what I yeah, mean? Well, you gotta... so I saw that. I saw that. They're just expecting a Tom Clancy game, which is oh, more of a... yeah, yeah. The Tom Clancy well, I, I, I don't name think... has more of a one-shot yeah, kind of... Yeah, and I a... don't think that's what this is, though. I never thought that's what this is. It's more of... I mean, I, they say the strategy. They did talk about coming up against a big enemy. The strategicness of your squad is very... very important. Good. Yeah, very yeah. important, which I like that. You know what I mean? But... I'm a, so this game comes out before Quantum Break, David. Um, this is the game that I will be purchasing for sure. Uh, this me is, as well. This March is, 8th, right? Th- I'm more excited about this game than Quantum. Okay, well. For sure. If it works as advertised. Yeah, I that's, actually... That's the... That's, it's nice that you don't... They were mentioning that you got those Destiny hubs, you know, mm-hmm, like yeah. your, your community towers, that the gameplay itself is not yeah. network. Your three people... So uh, it's it's gonna be. I mean, or te- I hope it looks I hope like it's not. I hope to get online and be able to play with you guys first night. But I mean, if not, I guess that's still gonna be frustrating. But hopefully, I I I hope it works. But um, going on with that, they do have a beta, and we do have the dates for the beta this month. Xbox, we do get it. Um, I think it's a day early. We get it on January twenty eighth, and then it'll be made available for PC and PS four on the 29th. And I think it's going to run through the 31st. So just okay. that weekend there. And there's no, it's not an uh, open beta. There's no guaranteed access. If you want guaranteed access, pre-order the game, which I have already done because I know I'm going to buy this game anyway. Hopefully it doesn't suck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, I've already pre-ordered this game, hope. so I will be in the beta on uh, January 28th. And uh, really excited to try it out. So in other news, if you'd like a twenty percent discount to pre-order, you can do it at Best Buy with their game rewards. Or if you're an Amazon Prime member, you now get twenty percent off all video game pre-orders. Nice, twenty percent, twenty percent. Yes, that also includes collector's editions. I think that's where that value lies. It does not, however, include digital copies. Um, it does for the PC though. Hmm. Um, on certain games, but that when I go through Xbox, PS4, no digital copies included. Not even an option to buy. Hmm. Um, so. Probably, a, probably only a matter of time. Yeah, they probably have to figure out the logistics of getting a where well, I, I where I think it is most valuable. Collector's editions. I was looking at all of them. Yep, and you get twenty percent off, especially when those get up into the hundred and fifty, two hundred dollar range. Twenty percent. That's a big chunk of change. Yeah, so. yeah. So cool. Very cool. Yeah. That's Amazon great Prime. news. One yeah. more reason to have Amazon Prime, 100 bucks a year, one more benefit. Mm-hmm. Cool. Also, with The Division, they came out with a new trailer, if you guys haven't gotten to see I it. I haven't seen it. I've Very just cool. Been it's it's a really action trailer, right? Um, what? I, I mean, I've noticed this before, but I, I don't think I've ever said it. I really like the interface 
of the division. Of how, it reminds yeah, there's me of actually uh, a lot going on, but it's in it. Yeah, it reminds me of. You remember when we we played Tomb Raider for the first time? Yeah, and you're like climbing across a rock, and like the interface, it doesn't. It's not like 3D, but it kind of almost gives you that like. Yeah. It like, I don't know. Yeah, your you know hand I mean? movements like, yeah. are helping. It it like <laughs> pops at you. It's it's just cool where it's placed. Like the one in the trailer, he's up against cover and he's peeking out, and his gun counter is like snapped. It's not snapped, but it's like on the cover, and it's it's just really the interface. I think is really cool. But uh, anyway, yeah, it it, it looks, looks good. It's it's looking to be a pretty good game. So I'm very uh, excited. yeah, I'm the almost. Division. I'm the book right before Rainbow Six. Yeah. Right now, I'm. I've read what seven books now mm-hmm. because of this game, yeah. all the Tom Clancy's. So, so well, I'm. I'm almost there. They talked about. I where did I? I forget where it was, but they talked about like building up. So you start the division, or yeah. I, you don't. I don't know if you started or not. Whatever, right? You're in the division, and they did talk about like when you go out to get the doctor, that you bring that doctor back, and it helps your main base. It upgrades your main. But you're building this division. You know what I mean? So, okay, gameplay. I think that's cool as like an upgrade. You know, you're upgrading your home base, which is addicting. I don't know. It's, just, it's the whole turning out to look looks, like a really good well, game. Well, it has that. What I when I watching gameplay and everything, it has that Borderlands esque. I love it when I shoot something and numbers pop out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's it's. Well, have you seen the customizations on your guns and the unlocks? Very cool. Anyway, yeah. Well, I'm excited. Yeah, I am too. Like, I'm excited and worried all at the same time. Well, because you're worried that the network won't let you play, yeah. but the game looks really fun. Mm-hmm. And you're Well, all- this game, so it's developed on the Snowdrop engine, which is rapidly becoming my second favorite engine. Really? Yeah, it's a really cool engine. But again, freaking, they don't let you touch it. Frostbite's number one. Yeah, and then Snowdrop. Snowdrop, and then and that- that's what uh, The Division runs on, is the Snowdrop cool. engine. Cool. I just, it looks, I just like, it's, anyway. That's all I got for the news, but it's very exciting. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm super excited for that game. Yeah. Are you, you been David? Watching Twitch? You, you've been just like Twitch people. Play? I I really am just skeptic after. Uh, and I don't mean to be skeptic. You know me. I'm a positive guy. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I'm skeptical because of Watch Dogs. They promised the world with that. Well, the Watch Dogs was supposed to be basically what the division is, but a first iteration of it, right? And it, it wasn't at all, not even close. Yeah. Well, they did. Hopefully, well, they, they did promised, delay. They yeah. did delay the division two years. And that so that's what? a hope of that. That's my only hope. And, and Rainbow Six really Ubisoft, didn't have very many problems. I mean, at first it kind of did, but it, when you got in, it worked fine. And Ubisoft is now not making an Assassin's Creed every game, so I think they're kind of calming down. You know what I mean? Not rushing stuff. Yeah. Um. Well, the division, the appeal to me is not necessarily the networking ideas. Like what I really liked when Watchdog was being marketed and everything was sure. the fact that you can go in and out of people's worlds and kind sure. of invade them. Yeah. You know, and, okay. and, and they promised a certain aspect of that. It never really worked. Sure. It was, that's why it was super frustrating. The gameplay in this looks better than Watchdogs. No, like, well, absolutely. Yeah. It, it looks more fun. Well, it's much more by... detailed. It looks like a, Oh, the, the more triple a game. This is uh, Watchdogs. I think was not a full triple. The cover game. system. Have you guys seen like how yeah. the cover system works? Mm-hmm. Looks awesome. Yeah, it does. It really looks good. super good. Where you can just press. A. I'm just worried about the connectivity issues. Yeah, and there. see that can that can break the game too. And that's what 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 can you? They know they know they need to work. That's. I mean, they. I guess they are doing the oxygen. I guess they the are game. doing betas and stuff. They didn't do that with Watch Dogs. Yeah. yeah. So the networking is the oxygen of the game. If it doesn't have networking working within a month, the game's dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Maybe I'll have faith. Uh, so the game. Look, I mean, I'm excited for it. Okay, your your your, <laughs> your pessimism is making me not want to buy it day one now. <laughs> now I'm like pulling back a little bit. Well, I've cool. already <laughs> I've already bought it. So. <laughs> I'm in. Real cool, David. Moving on, we have some uh, questions in. The first question comes from Mark from Facebook. If you guys have questions, uh, feel free to send us a message every Friday. If your question doesn't get on the show, (laughs) it will be featured later on a YouTube video uh, known as... The Rapid Fire Series. The Rapid Fire Series. It's a good time. Go check it out. James Callie... Oh, sorry, Mark. We were on Mark. Mark from Facebook wants to know, you recently suggested some headsets, but I was wondering if you could help me out and suggest some budget headsets. (laughs) 
His bundle didn't come with a headset, uh, and he wants one, but he wants to spend only about $50. Which ones would we so, suggest, and what are some must-have features for a headset? Mixed by um, So must-have features is... Mic monitoring. Mic monitoring. Number That's one. huge. But, the, but the, if you get a headset that doesn't have that, doesn't come with the adapter, you can get it from Turtle Beach for under $20, so... Um, the XO ones. That's what I have, um, and I have. I, I think we talked about this last week. We did we... last week. What What is the price on that though? He only wants to spend around fifty. Oh, how much is that now? Okay, let me look. I got that for forty. Bucks. Because I would, Jordan. You have the Microsoft Microsoft. Yeah, headsets, I really like them, and that's There's the ones that the I would basic, recommend. Yeah, I think nice. That sixty bucks. They work. They I mean, exactly they feel cheap, but they but, but they on your head like they're very monster. they're very comfortable mm-hmm. and sound great. Yeah. So I, I would recommend those as a starter set, and then if you want to really upgrade, I, I, I would skip all the, the middle tier, and I would go straight to like some Astros or something for, okay. for 200, 200 bucks. So this headset is $77 on Amazon, so I guess that's out of the range. But I'm a huge fan of the, this. It's a cheap set, but the sound quality is outstanding. Yeah, and, and that mic, the mic, he could, rec- he could be on the mic right now, and you probably could barely tell the difference yeah. compared to these really nice mics that go we have for the podcast. Go check out the community plays on YouTube. Oh, there you and go. And you can hear what that mic sounds like on me. It is really nice. It's super for for 77 bucks and it's it's super cheap. The cord I don't think's long enough. It's plasticky filling. Sound quality is amazing. The mic's great on that. And that's 70. Is it comfortable? Yeah, way com- way more comfortable than my Atlas uh headset that sure. I uh, got uh, previously. So yeah. Totally replaced those, and those were $150 when I got them. Yeah. So. Well, there you go, Mark. Thank you so much for sending that question. And James Callie wants to know, uh, he says he's been out of gaming for three years, but he recently purchased an Xbox One. Nice. So for someone that's been out of gaming for three years, listen to the games that he's finished so far. He finished Dragon Age and Witcher, wow. and he's currently uh, playing Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. Those are long. <laughs> oh, good man. Yeah. Good on you. Way to uh, come back with a vengeance yeah. <laughs> into gaming, James. Way to come back. Um, he says, I didn't really like Fallout 4. It was too similar to previous versions in, in his opinion. Okay. But he wants to know for us uh, what his next RPG adventure should be. If we have any advice. Well, he's played for his the big next... ones. Dragon Age, Witcher, and now he's on... Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, he's working on Metal Gear Solid right now. Let me think. Wow. Did he miss any in there? Maybe from the first year that RPG. Well, and this is ju- we're just talking about Xbox, right? We're talking about Xbox One. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Like those are like when you think role playing game, those are the heavy hitters. And Fallout Four, but he he's not a fan of Fallout Four. He thought it was too similar yeah, to okay. other iterations. Of it. So let's see what else is there. <laughs> I don't know. There's Fallout Three with backward compatibility. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Those, I mean, those are the games That's I would recommend. Yeah. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah, I got to look at a list. Um, oh, Child of Light is a different kind of. That is our so yeah, yeah, RPG like quality. There, there yeah. is there there is uh, well there is the Banner Saga that just came out. That would be an that is also yeah. RPG s. Um, I don't know if you want MMOs, but there is Neverwinter and ESO. If you're interested in that, they are RPGs. It sounds like he's very story driven RPG. Yeah. I doubt those would be up his alley. So, um. You know what one might be good is uh, what was that one that I still got to play? Uh, the zombie one that we bought a while ago. Oh, uh, what was it that called? That would be good. That is RPG State yeah. of Decay. That was it. State, State of, of Decay, Decay yeah. is on the Xbox I don't, One. I don't know how well the story is. It was but, I mean, up as for a, as a concept. For it a was game, up for really... Game of the Year and Game of the Year on a lot oh. of people's uh, 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 sheets two years ago on the Xbox from the Xbox 360. Uh, it's now on the Xbox One. State of Decay. It's it's a yeah. really good and RPG. Another one I've been hearing. When nothing... your characters die, when your friends die in that game, they're they gone die, for forever. Yeah. When so you I, die, you're gone for forever. I don't know how good the story is, but the gameplay element of that and then the RPG system is is pretty cool. But a game I've heard nothing but good things about. I've yet to hear one bad thing about it is Divinity. Oh, is Divinity just, Original yeah. Sin. That it also is RPG. And if you don't like Fallout Four, you want something more like the original Fallout Wasteland Two. Oh yeah, yeah. They Fallout. There's one another and one two. that I would recommend. Yeah. So let's go through this: Wasteland Two, State of Decay, State of Decay, Dying Light, Dying, Dying Light. Light. Yes, good call. That's a zombie one as well. That is yeah. Dying Light good. is an excellent, super one. fun. Uh, it's very therapeutic to kick a zombie yeah, in the it, crotch it's over and over. Yeah. Uh, another one that's that's. Not traditional RPG, but has RPG elements. Is Sunset Overdrive? 
Sunset Overdrive. Okay, yeah. it's more action adventure, but there are some RPG elements. I, in it. I enjoyed it. I, I mean, I know that game didn't get a lot of credit, but it was you know if it wasn't a like, bad game. If you like boss fights and a hard game, oh, um, Dark, Dark Souls. Souls. Yeah, I completely yeah. Even forgot about that one. Dark yeah. Souls Two is uh, that is a one of RPG, my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> we started from like I don't know. Right <laughs> now we're just like <laughs> well, in the now we're in the zone, you baby. Think about it. And I mean, of course, there is um, there is Final Fantasy Type Zero. Um, which comes with the new Final Fantasy 15 demo because I refuse to call it Dusque <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it's called Duse. Anyway, that's, but, real, that's real fast. That's well, yeah. It's I mean it's a Japanese RPG, but it, I mean if you're looking for something different, it's definitely different. And that's I mean sometimes that's nice. You know, you're playing The Witcher all the time, then you jump into a JRPG. <laughs> so which one should he go first? Go first. I think I'm going to vote Divinity. Or just okay. I think I think him him based liking on, based on Dragon Age and Witcher. Based on Dragon and Age and Witcher, I'm currently on Metal Gear Solid. I think I'm going to say Divinity might be right up his alley. I think I'm going Wasteland Two. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Dark Souls. <laughs> okay, <laughs> See, hey. I, there's a lot of good choices out there. <laughs> yeah, James, let us know. James, let us know. His gamer tag is Trucker J. Because think about it, Witcher Three and Dark Souls are kind of similar in the fact that it's a third person advent action adventure uh-huh. kind of a thing. True. Um, and I like it because it's hard. It's and definitely it's got boss not fights. a living, breathing world. <laughs> no, it's definitely very dark. And <laughs> you'll don't listen to Radiohead, or yeah. or you'll feel very sad about your life <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> while you play that game. Okay, I can see that. Dark Souls. So, so I, James, let us know which which Dark Souls. I, I'm gonna buy Divinity. Divinity. I'm gonna watch it. I'm watching or the Wasteland right Two. <laughs> let us know which one you pick and what you think. Do you go with Mark's pick of the week, Jordan's pick of the week? <laughs> Or David's. or David's pick of the week. We're like the movie rental store. Yeah. <laughs> we should do that picks. game of the week, game pick of the week that you that we should just suggest people. <laughs> hey, that's a great yeah. idea. We Not... suggest you play this game <laughs> <laughs> and that game. <laughs> uh, next question comes from L- Gary L. Porter. Gary, Lord Frexian. That's a good. Name. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. He's been all over the place. Gary's not a newcomer to the community. He's always on here. I yeah, just that Gary. N- don't know how to say his name. <laughs> uh, he wants to know, what do you do when you get in a gaming slump and just don't know what to play? This oh. happens to me all the time. I all the it. time. I had one of those this week. What, what did Jordan, you do? How did Jordan you handle it? Jordan is the one you should, like, he should answer because I'm in this and David gets this. And we're, I think Jordan. We, we're envious of you I because think Jordan you can, conquers it. Yeah. Well, I was actually in one the other week. Remember when I almost bought a PlayStation Vita? That's when I was in one. <laughs> <laughs> so buy a new uh, Jordan system. Jordan answer, throw down <laughs> lots of money. <laughs> no, what did I do? Um, I don't know. I watched a lot of Netflix, and then I just felt like, hey, I should be playing this. So um, I just what I do is when I don't know what to play, I play a game that I haven't played in a while, like that I haven't touched in a long time. So often, so like for my... example, this this week. What did I have? I, I I didn't know what to play, so I played Battlefront. I haven't played Battlefront in a few weeks, and I was like, you know what? And it was fun. It felt sure. good. I I think that that's good advice. Um, and not only playing something that you haven't played in a while, but play something that's not super involved, but just fun. So yeah. I know this yeah. week, uh, I I was struggling, and I was just browsing my games. So I I popped in some trials. Uh. I did a I did two or three trials, and I was done, and I was out, and that and that got me. The next day, I jumped in and I played for a couple hours of you know. My Whatever. normal gaming sessions here, yeah. But, but yeah, I I get on a gaming slump where I and it's not that I don't want to play something, it's that what do I feel like playing? And look, at, here's all my options. I don't know what to play. And then you got to think about the time investment and in whatever you play. It's like, do I have that I, time? I want to beat this game, but I haven't beat this game. Yeah. And, oh, oh, it's such also a also keep in mind. Um, I like to think of Nike. Just do it. <laughs> just click on a button. Just, just you got the pins on the Xbox trials. Just do it. I would say uh, uh, multiplayer is a really good way to get out of a gaming slump, yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. Jump in with some friends, do mm-hmm. something. I think that that is, that is a good it's, way. And so that one's hard, though, because sometimes your friends aren't online or, you know, you, you, that kind of thing. So have I, li- I like your call. Just play some Trials because Trials is, the, yeah. is, is a great game to just hop in and play something that you enjoy and then you're done in five ten minutes and then you can move on trials peggle you know something yeah. like that yeah peggle's a, peggle's a great game peggle, peggle is a ton of a ton of fun last but not least roger martinez wants to know are you ready for this pc versus xbox <laughs> 
He leaves it open ended. We oh. can address this any way we want. Go ahead, make spicy. That's I hate. Okay, thanks for the question. Uh, <laughs> um, both, absolutely no question. If real gamers, if you ask them what they play, it's it's whatever's fun. Mm-hmm. Sure, it's not. You're not limited. Fanboyism is so. I think PC st- versus Xbox, maybe not competing, but like. Pros and cons. You, what do you prefer? Okay. For oh, I thought it was one? a fanboy question. No, 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 no. Okay. So PC versus. Oh, okay. You need to apologize to Roger. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am so sorry. I just got so defensive. Yeah, man. Hey, hey. This is not Reddit. This is the X One Bros. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, I thought we just started something here. <laughs> Throw it down. Um. So PC. So PC versus Xbox. I, I like the PC for my strategy games, and and I'm not talking about. Uh, I don't know, like a Rainbow Six type of strategy. I am Company talking of about Company of Heroes, Total Rome. StarCraft, Total Rome, Crusader Kings, uh, Sins of a Solar Empire. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about slower-paced games where I can browse the internet in between my turns, mm-hmm. where, um, I don't know, where it's more intense yeah. as far yeah. as like research, thinking, blah, blah, blah. I love strategy games. my favorite genre. Yeah, yeah. Are you excited for XCOM? I am excited for XCOM. It comes out in uh, two and a half weeks. I'm more excited for Total War Arena. Oh, okay. Uh, Okay. Yes. Fair enough. (laughs) Just throwing it out there. (laughs) Okay. Also, I really want to get into Battleship. Uh, What is that? What's the battleship? Oh, oh world, world, of, world of battleships. World of warships. World of yeah. warships. Why do I say battleships all the time? World of warships. Because on Instagram, I always get advertisers. They know who they're they're targeting me correctly. <laughs> because they throw up on Instagram those ads. I'm like, oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> being a boat. Uh, the downside to PC, in my opinion, uh, there is something about sitting back and with a controller in your hand with this bad boy in recline and just enjoying life. Yeah. No, I totally agree, and then that's that's the main drive with me. Um, I think I think I really like how Steam is set up. So I, I would also add that Steam has kind of like the I call it the iTunes of video games mm-hmm. and the Steam sales and everything. I just have so many options to to. I mean, I was looking at uh, Company of Heroes. Speaking of Company of, Hero- of Heroes, um, and I have it, and I owned it, and I didn't realize I had it kind of a thing you know and i bought a whole bundle with the entire company of heroes so i can go in through and play it Mm -hmm. um that's super awesome xbox is starting to get that with the the monthly games with gold and all that stuff that you didn't realize you had sure kind of thing you can just install it and play it so um right now i would say pc i really enjoy that about pc xbox is getting that too um the comfort factor the controller Kicking back, relaxing. Um, I would say on top of that, so that I would to add to yours, you know, Steam on the Xbox side. I would say Xbox Live. Um, I feel that my social community is more on that than on the PC. Agreed. So I can. It's way more fun to play games with friends, and I think um, Xbox Live is the couch co-op of the internet, sure. kind of a thing. One thing that you cannot beat that Xbox Live has is the built-in party chat functionality. Yeah. Uh, on a PC, you've either got to get... TeamSpeak, Skype. Team Skype. Speak, okay. Skype. I mean, it's just... It's and, just super... it, and it still doesn't work as well as Xbox Live party I w- chat. I would agree with that. Yeah. The party chat makes it super fun, super chill, just to hang out with guys like they were sitting in your couch with you kind of a thing. And yes. uh, it's a good time. So, I would, so to add to what you said are those things as well. Yeah. Jordan, anything else? Uh, no, I, I agree. What games do you play on your PC traditionally? Um, RuneScape. <laughs> oh, I, I did oh, play that yeah. this week. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Didn't uh, Jono try to get his 10-year-old he did. character? He did. He recovered his he account from 10 years ago. Recovered an account from From 10 2005. <laughs> so that's 11 years ago now. Wow. I was amazed. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. No, I, 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 you know, I play Guild Wars, StarCraft, uh, I, I, all the Blizzard games I play on the PC. Well, and I mean, now I play on the console, some of them too. But um, I'm playing Guild Wars 2. Reinstalled that, played that. Good! MMOs. I play MMOs on the PC. Yeah, MMOs. Uh, Swotor plays Star Wars The Old Republic. You know. Yeah. Jordan is the only guy I know running like five MMOs simultaneously. <laughs> I don't know how you do yeah. it. I don't know how you can mentally have that capacity. Because when I'm playing an MMO or any kind of game like that deep RPG crafting whatever, mm. I'm at work thinking... <laughs> <laughs> How do I craft this? What can I, you know, min-max my gear with? You know, that kind of... You do that with five games. 
at the same time. How do you do that? I, I don't know. I just like MMOs. <laughs> Thank you. You know one I'm excited for oh, speaking of the PC. But Black Desert, you remember oh, that Black one? Desert oh, Desert does look cool. Just talking about PC. Go Those Koreans, up. man. <laughs> they know how to make MMO a good MMO. Yeah, Black you can Desert. Fully customize your character like nobody's. Yeah, have you, what is the best customization in a game you've ever seen? Best cust That's a great question. Best character customization in a game you've ever seen. Imagine answer, that. Answer, it doesn't matter because yeah. Black Desert is better. Yeah, answer, <laughs> like, take that and amplify it by 100. Yeah. Like, it is crazy what you can do. You're, crazy yeah. cool. <laughs> crazy cool. You know what I'd like to see? A Game of Thrones MMO. An MMO based in the Game of Thrones universe. A Witcher MMO. A Witcher MMO would be We're all better. Witchers. I would Just because, like, we were talking about that game. And I, just... I would love a Witcher MMO. You just did it for me. No, but I think a Game of Thrones, I would know the areas more. Like, oh, I'm in the north. <laughs> oh, I'm on, I'm on the i the islands. I can, I could not play with you oh, I'm down in the south because <laughs> you would just say Mark Winter's coming, <laughs> <laughs> and then you would you would brag about how rich your family is because you're always a Lannister. What universe? That's, that what would be your faction? What story? What story? What universe would you like to see an MMO in? The Witcher. The Witcher, I think, is a fantastic one. Because think about I, it, you can all be like that's how you start it. Like you're all Witchers. You know. Yeah. I would like Starcraft. I could see that. Okay, it's like that. that Maybe instead of Zerg, World of Warcraft, Protoss, yeah. there'll be World of Starcraft. Because what's next. cool about that story is you have like the Starships Trooper story, the Ender's Game story with mm -hmm. like the the Hive Queen and the bugs and all that yeah. stuff, yeah. and then you have the Elite Protoss, which is the alien race that's just you know they they telepathically talk. I don't know. They're just a they have they can warp things, you know, and then you have the humans which are gritty and I think sure. it's a perfect combination of a great story that could happen in the an Protoss MMO. Would anyone like to elves. see a Halo universe MMO? That'd be cool. Or is that Destiny? Yeah, it's probably Destiny. <laughs> 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 That's funny. So so speaking of Jono, chat really wants to wants to see Jono on the show. I gotta tell you Yeah DC Universe I play that as well so so jono is a very quiet kind of guy Unti I, until he it, until he, he thinks something's funny and just <laughs> keeps making fun of you for it. <laughs> that's funny yeah. anyways so i th i think starcraft would be a great story it's a great story already but as an mmo i think it could succeed because mm -hmm. you have the high-tech stuff you have the low-tech stuff for your crafting and gear and all that stuff that's true. you can like have that. your spaceships Limitless spaceships and Rainer is like a cowboy. It's like a cowboy in this in spaceships, sure. kind of like um, oh Serenity, uh, Firefly. Firefly. Uh -huh. okay. kind of, I love the Western sci-fi kind of mix, Strikes, kind of a thing. Yeah. I think it'd work. I think it'd work really well. What about do. a Ninja Turtles MMO? <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you just look back at this poster <laughs> on the wall? Are you just looking around and saying you love stuff? What? I love lamp. <laughs> There's a poster on the wall that's a Ninja Turtle poster. That... Anyways, thank you everyone for sending Ninja in questions. Turtle. Could you could you make Ninja Turtle MMO? Yeah, you why not? Why couldn't you? You'd have you'd have pizza shops. That would be your crafting <laughs> stations. <laughs> you know? uh, that's funny. Okay. You'd have the sewers. You'd have above ground. You know. You could play as Shredder. Or the be an Ninjas. action combat MMO. Yeah. Okay. Be really That'd be sweet. Be really cool. Have your man. range with. Uh... Or like a Ghostbusters MMO. That would be cool. That would be really cool. <laughs> that would be funny. Actually, you know what? Th you know what I think would do really well as an MMO. To be perfectly <laughs> honest. To be completely serious, Grand Theft Auto almost is an MMO. As, as it stands right now, it's it's almost Grand Grand Theft Auto Online is kind of an MMO. Yeah. Well, and you, with the power of that engine that you have, you could make that perfect. Yeah. The problem is their networking sucks. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's it's horrendous. Do you know how long it took Awful. us playing the community play? It still took us a good twenty five thirty minutes to get Just everybody to get in. in to play a game. Wow. But wow. I agree that is the perfect like game where you could pretend you're someone else. Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. could walk. Around, yeah. Perfect game. Yeah, like uh, Arma Three does yeah, the mods yeah. for like Ultus Life and stuff. Yeah. Perfect game for that. Yeah, role playing. Ugh. So thank you again, everyone, for sending those questions. Please, every Friday on Facebook, or you can message us, email us, get a hold of us any way you like to. Helps with the show. That's enough, the both of you. Ouch! And this is the portion of the show where we talk about what we've been playing. We save it for last because we like it the most. <laughs> Jordan, what did you play this week? 
I played. I RuneScape. played. Uh, I did play RuneScape. Did, yeah, tell me how that. Tell me how that went. <laughs> it was funny. It was nice to explain you know, RuneScape to me because I don't get it. I it's just. I, it's, I, I really don't. It's just a two D game where you can literally do anything. Like you want to just be a miner. A miner. You just go mine for a while. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's you just do what you want. So what's the? I mean, do that, does that player housing? Yeah, yeah, it has player housing okay. for members only. Okay, so um, you can. I mean, they, it doesn't necessarily have like big raids and stuff, but it has bosses you can go kill. You can you just have all these different life skills like cooking, you know, and you can just sure. What was Steve? Level him up. He he did a lot of. Uh, he was like best on the West Coast. Yeah, right? he, he he was he was really addicted to it there for a while. He. uh that was back when like, it was, didn't like, he get in classic trouble runes. for yeah. playing it so much? Yeah, like he, what? Did, what was that story exactly? Well, he just would get in trouble for. He'd literally just wake up, play it all day, and go to bed. So this was yeah. our friend that we grew up with. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And uh, he, he uh, got grounded from. Runes yeah, <laughs> he uh, would. Uh, what would he do? Um, but this was back like classic RuneScape because they have like RuneScape three now. And cl- anyway, so he he would just mine and smell all day he had like a, what was the highest i think it was, was it mithril armor at the time like the highest yeah. sense of armor you can get and it was he was good he had a lot of money too <laughs> so okay what else what xbox 1 but uh no i played uh battlefront okay jumped back into that i did uh finish the main story of fallout 4 good yeah, yeah. you did yeah. you mentioned that yeah. yeah so it was uh, really good thoughts Story overall. Well, now I'm that pretty sure. It? I'm pretty sure I finished the main story. The, like the credits. Well, okay. So there was this cutscene at the end, which was the end. Because okay. it's a cutscene. Yeah, credits, but like right? the what what they were saying in it, you're like, okay, oh, it's over. Well, they're leaving it for expansion. Well, stuff. no, no, no. I know, but like what he said, you're like, okay, this story ended. Like okay. you, you know, you beat it. But there was no credits afterwards. Well, so, so like, what huh. did you, what did you think? It was good. It was good. I went with the. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Brotherhood of Steel, and I actually did a few things that I found out because my brother-in-law plays that game too. He did the Brotherhood of Steel, but he did things that I wanted to do that I did not know you could do. That you didn't have the balls to and do. And I was actually really frustrated because there's stuff that I did and I wasn't, you he, know. It ended up different for him. Yeah. Better. Something that you wish you did. Well, I mean, the the end result was the same, but like certain characters and certain things and stuff I'm proud of and not proud of happened. And I wish I could change <laughs> some of them. I'm not <laughs> proud of. So Fallout. For, all right, good. Anything else? Um, what else did I? Do? Oh, uh, El- Elder Scrolls. I still like to jump in that every. Uh, and how is that going for you? I, I like it. I, I it's fine. It's just as soon as I get rid of veteran ranks, I think it'll be a lot better. Veteran ranks need yeah. to go today. So for those of you who don't know, veteran ranks are you play the whole game, you get to level fifty. That's level cap. Then you have sixteen veteran ranks that you have to go to to even get to the end game content. You have to be veteran rank 10 is the minimum. And then everything else is veteran rank 16. The difference is it's not normal leveling. It's 850,000 experience points Each. per level. Yeah. I got through one veteran rank well, level Well, the, the thing that's frustrating is... is it's becoming grindy, too well, grindy to the me. The thing that frustrates me about it, it's why, why are they doing it? Like, if you don't... 50 is a level cap, and then you should start your end game process like crag and I crafting agree. and stuff like that. If you want people to still level, make 60 your end game cap. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, I don't get what. It is very frustrating because it's just taking so it's long. It's extra tedious. Because I got. I leveled. I did the story. I thought it was great and it was fine. Sure. And uh, now I, I don't want to level through the other. Maybe I do when I'm bored and just to get their story, but. Because it, for, it forces well, I will you say, to go through the other zones. Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't force well, what you, I, but you essentially what have What I've to done is, because I put that game down, I was like, I think I'm done with this. But then I jumped back in. I went into first-person view, like Skyrim. Mm-hmm. And I actually played the stories of the other things. They are really good, I will say. Yeah. I think uh, well, they, Evan Heart Pact is one of the worst story stories. Like, the the ones I'm playing through right now. Yeah, they're good. Uh, very, really, really but good. But it's just frustrating, because like, I want to go to Craglorn and stuff like that, and... I, I want to... Yeah, because Craglord you know. and then Imperial City, which is their big PvP and right has, now. And Imperial City is a lot of fun, but I can't do it because you, you need to be veteran rank... Uh, you need to be veteran rank yeah. like 10, I think, at least. Yeah. And you're, we're, Jordan and I jumped in, and we're being one one hit killed in there. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not... By a huge freaking raptor. By a huge raptor. And veteran rank, too, though. Um, Orsinium's really fun. Orsinium is fun. Um, and that's nice because they're doing the scaling, but I did want to... I meant to actually put this in the news. Uh, Elder Scrolls came out with their beginning of the year quote you know like sure. saying hey this is what we're doing for the year um actually it's it's super exciting so you guys talk and i'll find it okay you, okay mcspicy what did you play um so i started out the week playing uh 
We did a community play. We played Grand Theft uh, Auto. Auto Five. It On was Saturday. super fun. How did that go? What did you guys do? What What did it involve? How, okay. how did it go? How many people showed up? Uh, full house. I think. Well, full house for the game modes, which sure. was twelve. I okay. think. Okay. Twelve people. Ten. Ten to twelve people. Um, so we played this playlist that's hard. Like it, they called it a five-hour playlist. Oh, okay. It wasn't five hours, believe it or not. It was less, but it was race. It was just racing. Sure. And the courses, um, just like people, community Grand Theft Auto Five community courses that people have made that are just super hard. You have to like this one course I loved. Um, people, I think it's from the PC where they could mod certain locations of barrels and stuff. You had to drive super fast in a in the exact spot and flip a several barrel rolls. And then land in an upside down <laughs> arc, and then you had to ride a wall up to the next checkpoint, kind of a thing. Whoa! Like spinning, spinning around. Did you do it. I did. <laughs> I did. But you add twelve people to that, and it takes several hours to fit. No, it takes a long time because people are crashing, yeah. and so you can't make it. It has to be perfect. Um, but we played a whole bunch of playlists like that. Super fun. Uh, I jumped in when they were already on. I think three or four. Of the ten, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, kind of a thing. So I only played seven, uh, seven of the ten things, but I had a blast. Super fun. Um, I want to do that again, and I, I, I ask that the community put these together more often because I had a really good time. So I will support it. I will go and I will play, and I'll record it and put it on YouTube without you knowing. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So go ahead over to forums, everyone. I mean, if you're not there, I'm there almost every day. This week I wasn't there as much because I'm moving, but. Yeah, mix spices in the forums every day. Um, I was I actually wanted to play um, so that I played that I wanted to play the uh, Plants vs Zombies yeah. beta. Yeah. Um, a couple of the community members played yesterday, um, but it just took too long to install on my Xbox, and oh, I okay. I ran out of time. Yeah. Um, but uh, I also played um, Witcher Three. Uh, oh. I jumped back on there. It was really nice because I had time. The problem with that game is. Every time I tried to start that game up again, like I mentioned, I was in a dungeon that yeah. I had previously beat, and it was like a puzzle dungeon. Sure. So I didn't know how to get out, and then I would just quit and you know <laughs> do whatever because I, I had to dedicate time. I put a good half hour in, I'm out, and I'm out yeah. about in the yeah. world again, and I'm really enjoying it once again. So Did it come game. back? That's what I'm working on now is um, I, I find myself reading the – the the notes. What's that booklet called? And you go into the menu and you read your journal. The yeah, I guess it's called a journal. Um, <laughs> reading that, I find myself I'm learning more about the world than when I would play because I wouldn't even read it. But yeah. I'm trying to figure out my buttons. I'm trying I, to figure. I out I read those monsters. as I went along. They're really good. Um, Especially it, on like the different ghosts. And stuff exactly, like, like weaknesses and stuff. Because yeah. I'm at the point now where I where I was at the point where I was having to relearn my controls because it has been a long time since I played this game. Sure. Um, I think I'm back in it pretty good now. Um, the dodging, the swords. What's What's confusing me now is the the intricate uh, inventory system. As far as um, I want to upgrade, you know, I'm with games like this. I'm I take so long. I'm so OCD when I want the best gear and all this stuff. Yeah. So I'm just relearning all that stuff. But still, super cool game. So that's what I I played too. I also played some Rainbow Six. Um, Tom Clancy. How'd that go? It was okay. I didn't have friends to play with, so I had to play with everyone strangers. else. Strangers, <laughs> strangers, and most stra most people are okay. It's just I I just have a hard time with trolls. Yeah, people team killing. That's what that I think that's what plagues that game a little bit. Um, when when you find a team that you enjoy, you can play for hours, and they'll yeah. stick. To, people stick together in that game mm -hmm. a lot. I find so, and I and I I played Ark for a little. I tried to play Ark, but I couldn't get in. That once they get those servers up, that game is going to be a black hole of time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got Rust, uh, which is a game that... Rust, Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. Think of how much time people play Minecraft. Think of how much time people play Rust. Add dinosaurs and everything else to that mix. Dinosaurs and mobile homes. <laughs> <laughs> mobile brontosaurus homes. R really cool game. But that, yeah, that's what I played this week. Cool. I myself, I played Madden, of course. Uh, what I got, what I'm getting into more, because my uh, my little brother is really getting into Madden. Um, is I'm I'm back into Madden Ultimate Team, so I'm really trying to improve my team. But I'm going through the Ultimate Team seasons. My skill level 
is has improved a lot in this game. So I'm to a point where I'm competitive every game, and so it's just so much fun. I have a crappy team, but I'm two and zero in my season. I got to get to five wins to make the playoffs. Uh huh. So I'm two and zero online. Uh, my last game came down to the wire. I just made correct decisions, ran the ball out, ran the clock out. Uh, it was great. Good for you. I got to build up my team. I need an offensive line. I have no offensive line. Uh, I also played Game of Thrones. Telltale's Game of Thrones. Yeah. Okay. Now this game over Christmas, we play, My wife and I played episode one over Christmas break, and after we we played episode one, we played in about two hours. No, three hours. No, two hours. It was it wasn't very long. Mm-hmm. That's when we were like, we need to go watch all the Game of Thrones to re- refresh ourselves. Both of us have read all the books. Yeah. Um, but we had needed a refresher on all the different characters because it's not the main characters. The main characters are around this new set of characters, right? Yeah. Uh, it's the best done. It blows away. I mean, the best done that I've played so far. Um, I have Wolf Among Us. I haven't played Wolf Among Us. I have Borderlands. I haven't played the Borderlands version yet. Uh, the only one that I've played is Walking Dead. And I enjoyed Walking Dead. Walking Dead is crap compared to mm-hmm. Game of Thrones. Telltale really has down the formula. And it really is. I'm literally just playing a TV show. But it's so much fun. My wife and I will sit here and be like... She'll say what to do, and I'll say what to do, and then we have to make a decision really quick. Yeah, and, and so I'll do it. And uh, and on, on on that front, I don't know. I would be curious, and if, if anyone in chat knows this, if the decisions I'm making actually matter, because sometimes I feel like the result the result is the same no matter you, what. How you get to that result how changes. I, yeah. Well, no, no, like like. Uh, the response will be something that could have easily fit all three yeah, of those yeah. choices. That's why I don't like that game. Yeah, and so I don't or know those games. So I don't know if it is actually me making the choices or if it's just tracking because you can go on online and see how your choices compare with the community, which I think is super awesome. Um, but I don't know if those choices actually, if I could have prevented certain events from happening in the game. I don't think I could have, regardless. Yeah, it says, no, decisions don't matter. The story ends up in the same place. You can't prevent the Red Wedding. Re- regardless, regardless, <laughs> I love this game, and I love this formula. It is it, you, it is watching a TV show. It's an interactive television show. Yeah. That yeah. is what it is, and I love it. Like, yeah. Mick Spicy, you would really like the Game of Thrones. It's very, very well done. Okay. You say that, but I have a hard time watching a cartoon when I don't want to press buttons. <laughs> Does yeah, but sense? it has a way of just because it's not. Well, okay, maybe okay, and I, uh, well, you're, I'm stupid. Okay, I'm an idiot when it comes to this because I'm sure it's fun. I'm sure it's great. Sure. I just have in my mind, it's if you're calling it a video game, sure, then let me play it. <laughs> yeah. Like it's the same with Mexican food. If you're calling it authentic Mexican food, let it be authentic. You know, it's. I have a uh, let's bring that up. I have a hard time with these restaurants saying this is authentic Mexican food. I've had authentic Mexican <laughs> food. It's not authentic. Uh, you know what I mean? So I, it's just that don't it, lie to me. Yeah, well it's just a different way. It's just a different mode of entertainment. It's a hybrid of a game and a show. It's a it's a it's a go. I don't know. I don't know what I know. I, I don't know I'm an go. idiot. It is it's <laughs> really fun. It. I'll tell you, it it does have a way sometimes like the quick time stuff is a little bit tedious. But sometimes I miss them and I die and it ruins it for me. I'm like, well, oh. and those stress me out because I when I played Dragon Age, I have sat for 20 minutes <laughs> going, do I kill him or do I not kill him? Sure, you know, and oh, yeah. it's and hard. Those decision decisions bar. It has that timer. But you, stresses me out. But you don't have to answer. Not answering is an option. It's a stupid one. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, th- the Just reason kidding. the reason that I think I think Game of Thrones really fits this style, and everyone says Borderlands is the best. I can't wait to get in it. If if, if Borderlands is better than Game of Thrones, I'm really looking forward to it. They say that's the best one. Yeah, but Game of Thrones is entertaining because it's just like the books, Mick Spicy. It is. You start with one character, and then oh, I love it that. goes back and forth all the time to all these different characters, and it just keeps you so. It Game of Thrones is set up perfectly for this style. I, I'm loving it. Granted, I love Game of Thrones, um, but yeah, enjoy it. My wife and I sit down. We 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 play it together. We've I've been, I'm through three episodes now. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. really good stuff. I want I want to like it. Really good stuff. And then finally Diablo. I went in uh, starting a new character, Crusader. Didn't play it very much, but. Uh, Starting over, and I'm also I'm, I plan on starting over on Witcher as so well. I, th- I think I think I'm just going to start. See, over. here's the problem with that though, because you're going to have I to start, start over Witcher, again, and then in three months you're going to start over. No, again. no. But when I start Witcher, that's why I haven't 
yet played it because I want to dedicate yeah. game beating time to that okay that monster. Which yeah. I don't know why. Then I started Diablo game because, beat it because <laughs> that's a time hole sink as well. Wait till you wait till you hop into uh, Metal Gear again. It's a day, that that one takes time too, and it's good. Are you ever gonna get back into Metal Gear? One day, one day. I still gotta go in. I am it. more of my ideal universe is is a Witcher, Dang, a Skyrim. Yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a I like a fantasy. I'm a fantasy guy. Okay, because I I ho- I hopped into uh, Metal Gear this week. I didn't play it because I had to hit OK about twenty times on their menus <laughs> yeah. that come up and their alerts. I would still like to try the multiplayer. I'm not it, the, the multiplayer, multiplayer is fun it, because it's so different. Yeah. Well, it's not so. I mean, it's it's a shooter, but it, it's just it's a little bit different. It's it's fun. It's a different kind of yeah. It's a different feel. Shooter. It's like Gears of War. Like coming from Halo to Gears of War, it's just a different feel. You yeah, know? absolutely. And with that, Mick Spicy, where will you be? What will you be up to? Where can people find you? Um, where will I be? <laughs> where will you be? What will you be doing in the gaming world? In the gaming world. Um, I think this week I'm going to be playing Witcher. I think I'm jumping back into that. I think that's my game this week. Yeah. I was just curious, would you buy the new expansion when it comes out? The Heart of Stone? I would want to Or be- no, sorry, Heart of Stone is the first one. Blood and Wine. Does Here's my question. Sometimes expansion changes the gameplay. Like in XCOM, the expansion came out. It was enemy... Within uh-huh. instead of enemy unknown, and it changes the game a lot once you play it. Like while you play it, mm-hmm. does that do this? Because I want to, I, I want to enjoy it in its original context, and then maybe re go yeah. and play it again. I don't know. I I just don't know. Yeah, neither do if I. it if it keeps it, you know, canon. I don't, canon's not a wrong word. If it keeps it, so I can play the original and fin- finish it, and then play the expansion, and I'll play different. Then I'll do that. But I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Good yeah. question. Um, Are you going to get the expansion? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I plan on playing that game all the way through. Oh, Heart of Stone I'll prob- and Blood and Wine. I'll probably get it, but I want to beat the game oh, okay, first okay, okay. and then play the expansion. Does yeah. that make sense? Yes. That makes total sense because that's how I want to do it. Yeah. Um, so I'll be I'll be playing that. Uh, uh, Trubador is in chat and he wants to get an update. Um, I am losing weight. So because remember last last week we oh, yeah. he's he actually so Travador is one v oneing me in weight loss oh, oh very yeah. nice so it's gonna, Travador is watching this live while on the elliptical maybe is that maybe, what he said yeah maybe our next podcast you should just be on elliptical the whole time <laughs> the we can stairs. set up the, we can set up don't, if don't he's you have doing a row, that he's going to win don't you have a row machine you I have a row be on machine. the row machine the whole time <laughs> while, while we do it live. When I row, I just cuss like a sailor because I'm so <laughs> mad that I'm rowing. <laughs> uh, no, anyway, so um, uh, I just had to give a shout out to him because we're one v one a, a weight loss thing because of my goal last week. If I, anyone else wants to join, we can. We can. I'll actually throw something up in the forums. We can try that. How out. many pounds have you lost? I, or, or I, I want to do this monthly because okay. it fluctuates too much. Too much sure. week to week. Sure, I absolutely. Uh, Daisy Princess is in chat, and it just reminded me uh, her. Significant other asked me uh, or asked us, "What do we call a female X one bro?" He suggested X one bronette. Bronette, <laughs> the bros and bronettes. The bros and bronettes. I like that. Is that? Uh, oh, that's a good. I don't know. I mean, I thought everyone was inclusive, but I guess that could be not inclusive. Bro- I thought it meant like brotherhood. What about sisterhood? Well, I mean, like. <laughs> You know, mankind united. I guess. Ants. I guess the world is. You know, oh, okay. X one brunettes. I like it. I okay, like brunette. Yeah. Does that work, Dainty? Brunette. By the way, Dainty played. Um, she was there in the uh, community play. Oh, oh cool. On Grand Theft Auto, it was fun. We had a good time. X one bra. X one to Bra. X one bra. <laughs> that sounds total surfer. <laughs> yeah. What's that bra? <laughs> Sean Penn. PMH says X one lass. Like a lass. Lassie. Ah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. Lady. X1 ladies. <laughs> Don't look at me while you say it like that. <laughs> okay, Jordan. Bronettes. It's a bronette. Bronettes. Got bronette. it. X1 yeah. bronettes. Jordan, how about you? Uh, probably The Witcher, though. We've, we've been talking about it. I, I kind of want to play it. Oh, it's so. getting you pumped up, isn't it? I know, yeah, it it's is. It's super fun. It's throwing your fire. No. <laughs> Imagine if you well, could play I, in that world I'm, with us. I'm one together, where I, I don't Like an get, MMO. I don't get distracted until afterwards. Like I, you don't. I see the uh, main story and I just go. Yeah, I wish I had so, that. 
I, well, that's a well, gift. Because if like I'm doing, I, I go because what happens is like, do you, you guys see that? What's what over the, there? Over there. Oh, and then, then I look at my map. I you haven't go. explored this area yet. I've got to go there. Yeah, <laughs> you would think MMOs bullets. would be really good for you because you could do that. You know, we'd be on the main story and we're like, oh, Mark ran up that hill again. Well, that's why I don't finish games. <laughs> Well, I think the problem between MMOs, and this is what I've experienced with ESO, is that it is like Skyrim, and it does a good, it does a decent job. Mm-hmm. It's not Skyrim by any means, uh-huh. yeah. but it, as far as storytelling and RPG mechanics, it's not even close to a Skyrim, which is a dedicated single player. S- single player. Um, it's different than that. So I think I think McSpicy enjoys the Grand Theft Auto, Skyrim, Red Dead Redemption, Living mm-hmm. World, MMOs. While it's a living world, it's a living world with other players, not with... And usually when you go to town, someone's world. just jumping up and down. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, yeah. So I can understand that. And riding a motorcycle. Yeah. I like that too, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Witcher, uh, I think it'll be fun. And... Uh, X1 Sis. Oh. Yeah. I like That's it. That's not bad. X1 Sis. I like so X1 Sis. So. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, X1 yeah. Lass. Yeah. Dandy Princess has thrown it down. It's X1 Lass. Okay. X1 Lass. So uh, let's see what that sounds like. X1 Bros and X1 Lass. Because the Bronettes is like, hey, bros and Bronettes. Yeah. It kind of hey, rings Hey, bros well. and lasses. Hey, X1 lasses. X1 asses. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yeah. That's hard. But good, we'll work good on rhyme. It. Good we'll, rhyme. We'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan. Continue. Uh, no, yeah, just uh, Witcher. Uh, probably maybe a little fallout here and there. But Okay. What were you, uh, where can people find you? X1 uh, lasses. Jordan okay. and XOB everywhere. And I am X1 bros everywhere. Follow me. Play with me online. Have fun. I will be on Madden. If you are in the Connected franchise, please, please, please play your games or just simulate them. Whatever. <laughs> um, head over to forums and please check out our Patreon. And thank you so much to every single person in the community. You guys are all awesome. You make the X1 Bros what they are. We love playing with you. Have fun this week. We'll see you guys later. Love you. Love you.